What up all our food lovers, our food critics, our fruities? Today, Ronan and I are here in Somerset, Massachusetts to do the Bearded Chicken. This place is brand new. There used to be a seafood place here. Chad. That's right, Chad Chowder. Uh, just recently closed not long ago. So we heard about this place, we looked them up, and we said, hey, we gotta try it. So, We'll be right back with you right after we get off food. Everybody, we're back. We just got our food. Uh, we're looking forward to. Uh, tasting all the delicious edibles here from the chicken wings from the Portuguese buffalo wings to the reaper wing uh, the reaper chicken to the garlic fever fever to the um, pineapple coleslaw to what was the it the, was a potato bacon ranch salad yeah to the potato bacon ranch salad and the guy in there was very nice. The customer service was outstanding. A very nice guy, very polite. So let's uh, start off here. We got a lot of food. So right here we've got... The Reaper. Oh, those might be the garlic. That's garlic. So that's the garlic fever. Those are tenders. But you want to know what? We're going to try them all. And let's just get some uh, blue cheese out. Those look like the tenders. Now, even though this is a chicken wing series, uh, since it was given to us, we're going to still try it. So, there we go. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Very tender. Hmm. Good flavor. Yeah, very good nice flavor. Mm, that's really good. Oh, yeah. Definitely taste the spice in it. Taste the garlic, too. I mean, I mean, you can see the garlic in the spice. Now, I can see why they call it. Garlic fever. In stereo. It's a very nice combination of both. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is so delicious. Mm. Oh, there's no blue cheese in that. No. I mean, the flavor is just explodes in your mouth. Got a nice flavor. Mm. Uh, I think they're looking good. Yeah. Put that one up there. Yeah. Now, let's see what this one is. That's the Reaper. Ooh, that's definitely the Reaper. Look at that. Look at how dark that is. Now, I don't know about Ronan, but let me see. I know we were giving napkins. Yep. And I ain't no dummy. I'm not going to touch it with my hands. And right now. But I am a dummy, and I did grab it. <laughs> and, oh, uh, so we didn't coat our stomach or anything. Mm. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Mm. That's kind of like a sweet taste to it. Mm. Reminds me almost of like Portuguese flavor type taste. Mm. That's actually pretty damn good. Yeah. I want to try with some, uh, some blue cheese. Oh, 
Oh. Blue cheese helps enhance the flavor a little. No, I'm surprised because most times you see people eating Reaper anything from flavored potato chips to the pepper itself to. But. Has a nice flavor. My mouth's not burning. I don't know about Rowan's. No. To me, it has kind of a sweet flavor to it. But that sweetness they could have added. But even this one, I mean, the tender is cooked right. It's juicy. It's tender. Wow. Oh, I mean, this is like eating buffalo. I gotta say, the chicken series is really doing well. Now, for some people, because it is a re uh, it's called the Reaper, uh, and it might have a a, 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 a ghost pepper in it, there is a slight heat to it, but I don't find any heat. Uh, but that's only for some people who would probably be sensitive to it. Uh, I mean. Tough on myself, and it's no quick, problem. I just want to say this proves it has no heat to it for me because just by drinking anything like water or even soda would in, make it intensely more difficult. And but, but what I'm getting at is that's him and that's myself. For other people, it would be a, maybe a different story because even with my sister sometimes she asked, is it hot? And I said, well, not for me, but maybe for you. Oh, let's see what this is. This the, oop, oop, oop. I do not want to get that all over my car. That is. This looks like the Portuguese one. Yep. Look at that. Ooh, it's that hot. Very hot to pick up. As in steaming hot, it's just like right out of the oven hot. Mm. So, just so I can pick it up and waste no time. Look at this. I'll use this as like a, a pot holder. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna put that over here though. Yep. I like that a lot. And even, yeah, it's nice crisp to it. Very juicy, very tender, good flavor. I mean, you can definitely taste the Portuguese seasoning on it. Oh, excuse me, you can taste the garlic. Oh, that is good. And this is the classic style with the bone. Mmm, looks delicious. Gotta say, this place has only been open for about a month. Opened in August, I think. Maybe September. But, right off the bat, they come out strong with good food.
Mm. Again, that's still finger looking good. Oh, definitely. All right. Now we still got others to try. Now, the chicken wings that we got was also the Reaper and the garlic fever. And the guy threw us some uh, chicken tenders in with it. And even though this is a chicken wing series, we figured, well, it's still chicken, so hey, we'll give it a try. So I want to say thank you very much for the extra food. And actually, we'll be honest with you, you know, there was a little bit of a mistake, you know, they punched in it as one thing. It, it was, uh... But it was our fault because, in a way, because yeah. the way we had said it. Yeah. So... But he remedied it really quick. And... And told us we could keep that and give us uh, what it was that we wanted. And he didn't have to do that. Because I do want to say this real quick. The customer is not always right. And I'm sure you would agree with that. Oh, yeah. Can you pass me that here? Oh, now you want it now. Oh, yeah. shit. This is the garlic fever, but on chicken wing. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Garlic fever too, so I could scour with uh, hot sauce. Mm. That's probably the Reaper. I'll hand that to you. Okay. So the other one looks like it's the, yep, the slaw and the potato salad. So that would be next. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we found the extra napkins. Yes. But just in case if I happen to touch my eye or something after, that's why I'm using a napkin. So I don't touch it with my fingers. Oh yeah. Mm, great flavor. It has kind of like a for me, like somewhat of a sweet taste to it. Now little wrestling tip. Eat some Reaper before you go into wrestling. And then you can rub it into your opponent's eyes. Don't try that at home. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's only joking. Right. Unless your opponent is tough daddy and it's a hardcore match. <laughs> then I'll just have to hurt your back. <laughs> So good. Oh, yeah. tried one piece of each but
that's the all right that's the saw yep all right so we both got okay i'll take a little bit and then you can have the container okay now we're going to try the pineapple slaw look at that mm. That is good. Yeah. I like the taste of pineapple gives. Mm, me too. pineapple I know some people are gonna say pineapple on pizza yes I love pineapple on pizza and now we're gonna try the uh, what do they call it um, bacon ranch potato salad this goes to tough daddy and yes I used the other end of the fork because I ate out of this end Very nice. I don't know. This bacon has like cheddar cheese in it. Mm -hmm. it. Has some scallops. And that ranch dressing. Plus the potatoes being cooked just perfect. Look at that. everyone so we just finished up our meal so you saw we tried everything from the portuguese wings to the garlic fever to the reaper and i must say i don't believe i ever had reaper or anything but that reaper was delicious to me it had a little bit of a sweet taste to it and it just had not just a sweet taste, but a really good taste. And all of them had a good taste. Yep. I mean, from the Portuguese to the garlic fever. And I just want to say the customer service here is really outstanding. It's a neat, clean place. Uh, like Ronan said in the beginning, they're working right now uh, on having a dining room. The dining room's under construction. They've only been open for one month. But for a place that's only been open for one month... Uh, they're doing some really good uh, service as we've been sitting here eating in our car we've seen people coming in and out in and out and even while we were in there waiting for our food to be served up people uh, coming in and out yeah so because they had ordered up ahead and they're already right here on a busy highway in somerset mass on gar highway and I mean, you got a bunch of businesses all around here. You got the car wash right over there. You got a package store. You got Cumberland Farms. You've got uh, Ocean State Job Lot. Um, AAA Stop and Shop going that way. You go down further that way. You got more businesses. And that's heading into Swansea going that way. If you take a, a right out of this parking lot, you'd be heading to Swansea. Uh, right across the street too, you know, you've got a uh, family dollar. You have what used to be a 50s diner, but now I think it's like some kind of Asian place. Maybe Ron and I might go there one day. So, I mean, they're in a good area for, for business. They really are. And again, the customer service is just right there. It's outstanding. And actually, I would have to give the customer service more of a two thumbs up. And I also just want to apologize to the guy in there for the misunderstanding we had earlier. Um, but I thank you. I thank him for fixing it and uh, for letting us keep the other stuff for, for free. So, I mean, that was very nice of him. So I would definitely say that for a place that's only been open for about a month, they do have a, a 4.1 star rating, I believe it was, on Google. Now... Yes, definitely a five-star rating. And, and um, now that rating in the next few months could probably go up. 
Because remember, you know, only open a month, and yeah. you already got close to a five star rating uh, just opening up a month. Yeah. So you and can I tell mean, the food uh, is really good. Oh yeah, and I mean a four point one star rating is still a high rating. It's a good rating. Yeah. So just give it some time, and I think that rating is definitely going to go up. Oh, definitely. Uh, again, this is just our opinion. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, if you live in Somerset or one of the neighboring towns, definitely come down here to Bearded Chicken on GAR Highway. Uh, you will not be disappointed. This chicken was absolutely delicious. Oh, I mean, I can't wait to have more of it. You got anything you want to put in? No, I mean, just other than the fact that, you know, my compliments to Eric for uh, a job well done with the food. I mean, seriously, that was great food. Oh, everything was just really tasty and, you know, uh, it helps when you know what you're doing when it comes to food prep. And I, I can't say it enough, to, enough times that if you have the right cook, it's always going to be delicious food. And this was outstanding i mean seriously i i loved every minute of it so with well, that I, said, I thought it was delicious so with all of that said we just want to thank everybody who has supported the channel so far and has bought some merch thank you so much again supporting the channel like buying some merch and stuff and also watching these videos it helps us to be able to go out and do more videos like this one and bring you guys more content uh, so again thank you everybody for your support thank you for everybody uh, for believing in us and believing in the channel again here at the food lover review show we're all a family from Ronan and I to all the viewers um, thank you also to everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far if you haven't subscribed please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be the first that is notified when a video like this one comes out also keep on sharing the video make sure to smash that like and again like we just mentioned we have a merch store uh the link will be down in the description below and also right at the end of this video we have a little bit of everything for everybody from hats to t-shirts to coffee mugs for all you coffee drinkers and or tea drinkers even travel mugs and hoodies which will come in handy, especially if you live in the New England area or any cold area like Ronan and myself. Also, we are now on Instagram and Facebook, so make sure to go over there, give us a follow and a like on, on both of those, on Facebook and Instagram. And until then, we'll see you all on the next review.